I'm proud of the work that we've done here. Proud of facilitating a criminal empire? A necessary evil. Maybe. But if we're being honest, some of the blood he's spilt is on our hands. I agree with Ressler. The and intrigue, well. action, twists, and turns of the blacklist Proud are coming back for season five. Diego Klattenhoff, a.k.a. FBI agent Donald Ressler, joins us this morning to give us the inside scoop. Please welcome Diego. So good to see you. Welcome. Uh, we're very happy to be the brand new home for season five right here Great on to be City. Here. Welcome. Very part excited. of the fans. Yes. Let's talk about, first of all, the fact that you are venturing into a fifth season, which is incredible unto itself, and, and why you think it's been so successful. Uh, the writing and the fans. And, you know, it, I think it's everybody's got to be very happy that we're going into season five. I know it's always a crazy adventure when you start a TV show, but I mean, it was, uh, it was obvious from, from day one that it was a special show and a special group of people. And, you know, as somebody who used to live in Toronto for a long mm -hmm. time, I'm very happy to be over here. I know we had like an issue uh, airing a day and date. Uh, so we moved over, and I think Wednesday is going to be a, a fun night. The new home. Yeah. So how does it feel to be back here also in Toronto? You shot Pacific Rim surreal. here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was about five years ago we shot Pacific Rim, and I, uh, I was actually, it was funny, last night I walked by the, uh, the first uh, job that I had here was that Indian motorcycle. No way. Yeah, what was your yeah. job? I was a bus boy. I wandered in. I was wandering around. Uh, no, the city with like some handwritten resume yeah. looking for a job fresh off the boat from yeah. Nova Scotia. Listen, so. you got to start somewhere, and I bet you totally. this still feels it was very right much like at home. the bottom, cleaning the floors, <laughs> and mopping up really not not nice stuff. No, started from the bottom, and now you are here as yeah, Drake sings. It's okay? like Drake, Look right? At that. So, what it's can we expect around. for season five? I know you're not allowed to say much because that's the joy of watching the show is is, is watching this all unfold, the drama and the intrigue and the twists yeah, and the turns yeah. I and mean, high uh, stakes. I, I think the writers are off somewhere on a beach drinking <laughs> margaritas. They should be anyway. I would be if I was a writer, you know, kind of hashing it up. I think they have a good idea. We had some uh, a lot of stuff kind of come out in the finale for season four and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We're going to start work again in maybe six weeks. Oh, really? That yeah. soon? Yeah. Okay, James Spader, let's discuss. Uh -oh. Of course, he is the glue. He is the fugitive turned FBI uh, informer. Yeah. What is he like? I feel like he'd be, is he, he's so good. Is he that intense in real life when you guys yell, cut? <sighs> give us the goods. Uh, give us, give us the, the goods. goods. He's a terrible person. <laughs> um, no, no, James is, James is terrific. He's, uh, uh -huh. he is who he is he's you, you you have to kind of meet him i know this is it's hard to be insightful for somebody who hasn't met james but um yeah he's very generous and kind we've always had a great relationship and um just kind of being around him and seeing how he he kind of sees the world is pretty interesting and you keep landing interesting gigs let's talk about homeland uh -huh. people said that's up there as one of their top shows also and it, that it's it is very much we are in the golden age of television now everyone's looking to TV and you see all the crossover with movie stars mm -hmm. on television shows that are getting all of the light and they're saying this is where the story the good stories are being told because you have time to tell them mm -hmm. do you agree you just stole my answer right there <laughs> sorry uh, no um, it's it's pretty incredible these days although there's, there's, there's a lot more talent migrating to television, I think it's a great medium to to tell stories, much longer form. Um, but it's uh, there, and there's so many different platforms, you know, with the whatever. Uh, it's not just network television anymore or cable. You have streaming, and mm. so it's. Um, I think I think you know, as viewers, I th you should be quite happy with where it's at compared to years years ago. And not that they're not making great movies. Um, it's just different these days, so yeah. I'm excited to see where it goes. And as actors, I mean, it's there's so much more opportunity. There's so much more being yeah. made, right? Great and material roles. and characters, and and there's I think it's tapping into how many, uh, how much more people want to see and diverse characters, mm. people from every different background. It's just not a certain type of character that's out there that everybody's kind of forced to watch. Yeah. Well, The Blacklist, Season 5, also here on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. at City TV, brand new home, and it's on your must-see watch list for sure starting this fall. So don't look for it just yet. Maybe get caught up, right? right. Get yeah. caught up and then sh binge watch yes. and then check it out this fall on City Wednesday nights at 8. Thank you, Diego. Thanks Pleasure. So Maybe you can go visit your one of your favorite restaurants while here. Uh, everything's changed so much. I know. Everybody says that. You'll have to get like reacquainted. Turning over and over. <laughs>